who doesn't have an opinion on something? We all do. As a Minnesota resident, there are several ways you can effectively share your opinion with your state legislator, including testifying before a House committee. House committees focus on specific areas such as health and human services, education, or agriculture. During meetings, committee members take up bills and issues and hear testimony from experts and members of the public. The House's committee meetings are open to the public and most are held in the state office building. If you've ever wanted to weigh in on a bill being heard in committee, visit a committee room to support a testifier, or even if you've ever just been curious as to what a committee room looks like, you'll want to continue watching. In this point made, testifying at the House, we'll go inside a typical House committee room and help you become familiar with the committee process. Our tour guides for this story are Mark Melander and John Reynolds. Both have experience as committee administrators. Before you first step inside the committee room, check outside the committee door for the agenda. The agenda will be fairly specific as to the order of the bills that will be taken up that day and uh, the number of people testifying and probably the, the names of the individuals that will be testifying. The agenda will likely be posted on the House website as well or you can obtain an agenda from the information table. Check to make sure the issue you are following has not been removed from the agenda. Agenda items may not be heard in the order in which they appear. When you first uh, enter the hearing room, um, there will be like over here, a table uh, that will have some documents pertaining to this particular hearing, and one of them will be a written agenda for the hearing. Near the entrance of the committee room are one to two pages that assist with the committee process. They sort of help pass notes, uh, and if you are here to testify, you can check with them to make sure that you're on the list to testify or let them know that you'd like to testify on a certain bill. The pages have a sign-up sheet so that members of the public can sign up to testify if they have not already done so. Pages can also pass out any material that supplements your testimony. If you are going to be testifying and want to use presentation equipment, talk to the committee staff beforehand so they can assist you. Every committee room is equipped with TV screens, uh, so if you have something for that or if you have a physical handout that you'd like all the members of the committee to see, you can give that to the committee pages and they will make copies if you don't have them and distribute them to the members of the committee. Once you have checked the agenda, made sure you are on the testifying list and taken care of your testimony material, take a seat in the audience. You can have a seat in the audience and uh, on most days there are multiple bills that will be heard so you may have to have some patience uh, <laughs> and wait your turn because your bill might not be first. You will wait in the audience until your name is called by the committee chair. The chair determines the order in which the bills are heard, the rules for testifying, and whether there will be a time limit on your testimony. At the head of the committee table is where the chair sits. It's the chair that will uh, announce what bills are going to be heard uh, in what order. And that order might, be, might change uh, uh, on the day of the hearing, you know, depending on what the chair wants to do. If you will be testifying on a bill, you will come and take a seat at the testifier's table in front of the U-shaped table that representatives and legislative staff sit at. The chair will ask you to proceed with your testimony. Um, once you've concluded your testimony, the chair will probably ask if there are any questions. Uh, the chair might ask a question uh, of you directly or ask if any members of the committee have a question. Um, all of the discussion will be, uh, will be run through the chair in that a committee member will raise a hand the chair will recognize that member. The member then will ask a question of the person that's testifying. The testifier's table is equipped with microphones so that House members can hear testimony and so that the testimony is recorded. Right now we're here at the testifier's table and what advice would you have for people coming to testify? 
I think one of the most important things that testifiers can know coming uh, up is to make sure that they speak clearly into the microphone. Uh, don't get too close or too far, say about six inches away, um, so that uh, the audio picks you up and you can be heard throughout the room. Because Sometimes it can be noisy and sometimes members will be talking among themselves. Reynolds offers some words of advice before you reach the table. Before you come up, make sure that you've turned off your cell phone because uh, cell phones, iPads, um, other devices can cause feedback uh, when they get too close to the microphone and it will uh, lead to an irritating static E sound uh, that is audible to the committee and will uh, possibly wreck the committee tape, um, which will prevent people from listening to your testimony uh, in the future. Once you're done testifying, do you leave the committee room or should you sit back in the audience? Usually chairs like it when the testifiers stay in the audience in case there are any follow-up questions um, and that happens pretty frequently as uh, more and more people testify if there are a lot of people here to talk about the bill. Um, sometimes there will be conflicting testimony and contradicting facts and uh, a member of the public may be asked to come back down and uh, expand on their view a little bit more. You can always attend a committee meeting before you testify to become familiar with the process and room layout. We hope this video has made you more comfortable stepping into a committee room. Whether that's to come to testify on a bill in committee or just come to support a testifier.